So in this problem, we're told to sketch the region enclosed by the given curves and find its area. So this is number 17, and we're given two functions, x equals 2 times y squared and x equals 4 plus y squared. And so I just graphed it here on Desmos, and you can see uh, that we're trying to find the area that I'm shading in. So the first thing that we need to do is take our functions and set them equal to each other. So 2y squared is equal to 4 plus y squared. And so we're doing this in order to find the lower and upper bounds of our integral that we're going to use to find the area. So what we need to do is solve for y. So let's minus y squared from both sides. This is going to become y squared equals 4. And then what we can do is square root both sides to get rid of the squared on this y. So y equals, and then it's going to be plus or minus because you're square rooting. So y equals plus or minus the square root of 4. So it's just plus 2 and minus 2. So this is going to be our lower bound, our smaller number, and our uh, bigger number is going to be our upper bound. So keep that in mind. So if we draw our integral, lower bound is going to be minus 2, upper bound is going to be 2. Then what you want to do is look at your two functions, and it's easier to see graphically. So what you want to do is um, the function that's on the most right, because we're doing this with y instead of usually with x. So the one that's on the right the most is going to be the one you write down first. So in this case, uh, it's going to be the green one. And the green one is going to be 4 plus y squared. So we're going to write that one first. So it's going to be 4 plus y squared. And then you're going to subtract from that your other one. So the one that's below it, or in this case to the left. So minus 2 times y squared uh, dy. And so the y squared and we're minusing 2y squared, right? So y squared minus 2y squared is just minus y squared. So we just have 4 minus y squared on the inside. And so now we just got to take the antiderivative and just solve this integral. So the antiderivative of 4 is going to be 4y. The antiderivative of minus y squared is minus 1 over 3y cubed, right? Because we add 3 and then divide by it. And then we're evaluating it minus 2 to 2. And so... Uh, let's plug in 2 first. So we're going to plug in 2, get a value, and then minus our lower bound, so minus 2. So 2 plugged in is going to be 4 times 2 minus 1 over 3 times 2 cubed. So 4 times 2 is 8. And then 2 cubed is 8 times minus 1 over 3 is minus 8 over 3. And so what we can do is rewrite this 8 to be over 3 so we can actually subtract so 8, if we want to write it over 3, it's going to be 24 over 3. So 24 over 3 minus 8 over 3 equals 16 over 3. So when we plug in 2, we get 16 over 3. And then we're going to subtract whatever minus 2 plugged in is. So it's going to become 4 times minus 2 minus 1 over 3 times minus 2 cubed. Minus 2 times 4 is minus 8. And then minus, so minus 2 cubed is minus 8. And then times minus 1 over 3 is just 8 over 3. So they cancel, so we get a plus. And then we can rewrite minus 8 as minus 24 over 3. So minus 24 over 3 plus 8 over 3 equals minus 16 over 3. So that's what happens when we plug in minus 2. We have minus 16 over 3 minus minus 16 over 3 and so these this minus and this minus are going to cancel so we're just going to have 16 over 3 plus 16 over 3 which is 16 plus 16 is 32 so 32 over 3 and so that's going to be our final answer so the answer to this problem is going to be 32 over 3